with that double jump armor. We Fit works Three, for their mobility, two, but when they one, have deep breathing go. on lock, or in some cases are just by ledge, things can get very uh, things get very quick in terms of both damage output and watching John Numbers take a move around. And Numbers especially has been known to be just so efficient with getting his damage. But I mean, Raptor coming out right now, uh, getting a bit of a percent lead of his own. All right, good uh, up tilt right there for the anti-air. I really like Numbers' use of uh, putting the soccer ball in the middle of the stage and then just kind of using it to threaten um, multiple angles. It's sort of similar to like a, a smaller Pac-Man hydrant in that sort of way where it's just this threat and you know that the main of that character knows how to put the, the hitbox in those angles. Yeah, and you can watch it, uh, how Raptor is really approaching the matchup. They're choosing to play it as a stage first kind of position. Okay, Raptor, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so you see a couple of teabags and get properly punished for it. Uh, tactical, of course. But if Raptor is going to play a largely stage positioning oriented game and let numbers sit at ledge and force numbers to approach at the end of the day by having this percent lead, percent lead then numbers answering with a low committal uh, option in center stage like that soccer ball does make a difference and now we get to see john play the stage control game and they will get all of their resources online just walking up and down tilting crouching under the egg we fits crouch is insane and that down tilt makes the most use out of that as deep breathing is a hell of a drug it is so sometimes you need to take a nice deep breath and uh break all of Yoshi's bones. <laughs> oh, the the offstage present is just so aware that Raptor isn't going to consistently commit to a hard punish on a re-grab. So Numbers feels very confident just dropping from ledge and hanging out offstage for as long as they can. Yeah, I think Raptor was actually looking to punish a re-grab there with the down B, but just a barely missed space, but able to take that First stock off John Numbers with the up air. Nesting away as we see a down throw from Raptor, but not leading into anything. As long as Numbers DI is right, then Raptor shouldn't get anything off of any throw except for positioning. Looking for the up smash, but that up tilt will result in this huge punish. Ooh, and a great punish on uh, the uh, Sun Salutation charge right there. John Numbers thought he was a little bit more safe than he actually was. It's insane that Raptor not only put on so much damage, but is so willing for up smashes. And Number says, anything you can do, I can do better. Mm -hmm. As the up smash comes out on the Wii Fit part, trying to bait uh, Raptor in with the deep breathing, not falling for it was Raptor. But they need to make a response here. As Wii Fit is incredibly hard to close out stocks upon if played like how Numbers loves to loves to interact with this game, using that ledge and using the corner as a position of offense, but in midair like that, it's hard to keep up with Yoshi. All right, using that invincibility to get a full sun salutation charge, so that that threat is there, and deep breathing now too. So Raptors gotta watch out for that, but doing some great pressure right now on the ledge with the back airs and the up airs. Orto on the roll in, taking some of these eggs and choosing to punish accordingly with some of these forward airs. Raptor is looking to maintain center, but then goes in with a ridiculous dash attack that didn't cross up. The numbers didn't find any sort of punish. As we will continue to go back to whatever classifies as neutral because that's when numbers is on ledge, he's not playing disadvantage. He, he's, this is just neutral. <laughs> Oh, no dash attack. I really love the confidence of John Numbers right there to really just uh, charge deep breathing in Raptor's face because John Numbers has been doing such a good job this game of um, faking out the deep breathing because, you know, he has that uh, cancel, but right there he was able to get it, and there we go, the F-Tilt getting John Numbers game one. You know, I was going to say, like, wow, Yoshi down air does an incredible amount of damage. Seven, like around 80 to 150, like this. At this point, percents are really going into this gray area where, yeah, 150 is a lot more than 80, but it's about even because both players. John, why were you upset? Because <laughs> both. He didn't even know why that hit. 
because both players are kind of in this gray area, yeah, they're, both of us have kill options despite it, the percent being in such a, a wildly in John's favor. But that forward tilt connected mm -hmm. uh, against Yoshi, who's not usually allowed to be shield poked. But hey, say la vie. As we go into game two, right back to Battlefield, uh, one of Yoshi's more prominent stages, and something you have to be familiar on in the great state of New York. There's a lot of Yoshis here. Yep. <laughs> All right, and right back to the ledge we go for for John Numbers. Uh, already getting 81. That up smash did so much. I mean, you know, deep breathing as always. Ooh, good shield pressure by Raptor using that down air. They just footstooled out of it. They, they didn't get a second up air because John was mashing jump and got the footstool invulnerability to Ooh. get by. Ooh, grab and grab. Right, nice use of the deep breathing right there to stall John's uh, vertical momentum. But there we go. I think uh, John Numbers had a full sun salutation right there, right? He was trying to uh, get Raptor off of him. Yeah, but Raptor pushing their aggression for offstage. Uh, for one of the few times they did that, uh, the, uh, this set so far, and it really paying off in spades with a stock and that you can take and make the most out of a lingering there as a means to try and intercept. But not finding anything too crazy off of it. Instead, just looking to scout out some of these roll reads and some of these offensive options coming up from John Numbers <laughs> as the, the taunt on Raptor's part. Unflinching in his camera, but definitely a little BM in their play. Though the forward tilt will come in. All right. And of course, John Numbers going right back to ledge, not wanting to deal with a Yoshi with That's invincibility damage. at all. That's oh, big damage. That Already getting the percent lead back. Huge, massive amounts of damage. Like this is this is some flex seal type of damage that we're watching. <laughs> oh, but can it keep this Yoshi? To, what are you doing? I hate these two. Stretching <laughs> your legs. I'm gonna run up and read your. <laughs> I'm gonna punish your spot dodge with taunt. Get get wrecked, idiot. <laughs> Optimal. <laughs> Truly. Oh, not risking the back, the rising back out of shield. Instead, both these players still trying to preserve their stock first and foremost. This spot dodge Good was spot so well-timed. Right. I mean, you know, you get it too, too late and your shield's broken. You get it too early and you just die. Why does that, how does that have worked twice? Just run straight forward, full stage, acknowledging that Raptor will block this because Yoshi players like to play out of shield with things like Nair. And even if the down tilt didn't connect, they were prepped with the Sun Salutation. Though mm -hmm. Raptor does close out the stock all the same, keeping this as even as possible. Not able to find the potential punishment as uh, Yoshi down B was not quite as negative on hit as John like, would have wanted. 39% of peace, looking to try and get Yoshi out of the air, but unable to break the armor completely. Ooh, uh, Raptor actually hit the soccer ball back there. I believe that was a uh, neutral air. Uh, John Numbers caught a little off guard. Oh, these sun salutations are powering right through eggs, so you have to... <laughs> it works. I'm it, so it, mad that it, that it, worked. When it works, it works. Stretch, 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 stretch your legs. <laughs> Chat is a stretch. Doing numbers in, haha, doing numbers in the MDVA region and looking to do all the more is Jonathan numbers as they look to, for, to potentially a roll read. I believe that means they have lost their sun citation. Yep. Yes, they have to charge it back up. At 173, though, this is going to be quite a bit. A deep breathing throw ought to do it, but this back, this up there won't quite yet. Yeah, no, deep breathing off, off the table. And now Raptor with so much rage but also wow. so much damage that it's going to be hard to live any stray hit. All John needed was an, a proper anti-air, which they found off of the uh, off of that up air. Arcing upwards, watching Raptor whiff and punishing accordingly. Mm -hmm. Like That was just both players as John shrugs in the camera yet again, wondering what the game it was that these two played, but it was very much focused on whiff punishing on either side. Like mm -hmm. when... As soon as one player would overcommit, they would eat some level of a punish, and it was two players trying their damnedest to not overcommit. Like that. Very well done. Very well done, yep. from Raptor. I mean, it's really hard to look at some post-game analysis for sets like this because it really is 
one idea taken to an extreme mm-hmm. as ends up being the play styles of uh, both Numbers and and uh, Raptor, but also of Yoshi and uh, Wii Fit Trainer. Wii Fit Trainer having this idea of a back and forth game plan that becomes, it, it's like flicking on a light switch. They become a defensive character with a lot of solid zoning uh, zoning tools and then flick the switch, deep breathing's online and boom, they're a hyper aggro character. Uh, they become a fast faller, they do so much damage. It's a complete change of pace. Mm-hmm. While Yoshi is full in on the air game at the cost of a, a much substantial ground game. They have a solid poke in things like jab and down tilt uh, and some decent and some decent tilts on that. But you're seeing Yoshi's jump. You're seeing them approach the game in the air. Right. And they don't there's have a clash of two extremes. They don't have that sort of um, like heat map of uh, the the threat.